So last year I made a video about trying Birch Sap for the first time. Now did I dig it? It kind of reminds me of if you have a water bottle uh, with uh, that much water in it and you leave it in your car and you taste it after a couple of months. I think that's the flavor. I'm gonna try again this year to see if my taste buds has uh, developed anything uh, during the last year. What I'm also gonna do is to try and reduce it and make some birch syrup. Now we didn't plan to do this, and these days we are supposed to keep the trips to the store at a minimum. <laughs> at a minimum. But one of the kids had a birthday, and um, we have these straws that I think have the right dimensions um, that we can use. So we're gonna drill a hole with this, and hopefully it has the same size as this one. And I could use this to make a hole in the lid to fit this in, but I don't know if I'm gonna do this again, or if I need it for something else, I'm just gonna use this Gorilla Tape as a lid. All right, here we go. I'm starting with getting rid of all the soda from the birthday party. I'm gonna try with a smaller one as well and put in an extra straw. Right there. Let's try a different treat. <laughs> oh, okay, hello. So now I'm just gonna leave it here and uh, see if we have some sap tomorrow. Excited to try this again. I really, really want to like it. It is nutritious, it's packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. I go and pick blueberries in the fall, they're also nutritious and full of antioxidants, but they taste good. It, need, it needs to taste good. I am a fan of harvesting what nature has to offer, uh, and it's free. It's right outside my door. Uh, you don't need much equipment, and you can use the same stuff year after year. But I'm not going to spend time. Uh, collecting it if I don't like it. Then I'm just gonna drink my coffee and water and eat healthy and get all my nutrients through that. Well, maybe not coffee.
Clearly I overrated the size of this container. It has room for 20 liters <laughs> and this is maybe one. And it's been standing here for about 16 hours now. So I thought it would be more. But nonetheless, it's enough for me to have a taste and maybe make some syrup. Here it goes. Cheers. Salud. No zdravie. Maybe if I lived in a city and my tap water tastes like bleach and chlorine, this would be really good. Unfortunately, my tap water tastes good, so... Well, it is nutritious. There is an ongoing debate whether you should plug the hole or not. Last year I did plug them, but a friend of mine who does this a lot took down some birches for uh, firewood and he opened them up and what he found was that the trees where he had plugged actually were more damaged around the hole than the ones he didn't plug. So I'm gonna let nature take care of its own and, uh, and not plug. <laughs> So we have a little over one liter that I'm gonna put on the stove uh, and a half a liter to uh, refrigerate for me to um, to drink. It takes a lot of time for all the water to disappear. Normally you need uh, 100 to 150 liters of bird sap to make one liter of syrup. Now I only have one liter, so I'll only get one tiny bit of a syrup, if I get any at all. When the water's almost gone, the caramelization process starts, and if I don't pay attention, uh, the syrup will burn. Okay. So now it has started... So it has started to caramelize. And it's it's so little. No! Oh. <laughs> okay, so the timing was on point. I was there when it started to caramelize. Uh, it uh, escalated quickly and. Um, This is what I got. That's 1.2 liters of bird sap in syrup. Nope. 